Hey everyone, it's Jane the Parisian Girl and today I'm doing a makeup tutorial to look like a classic Parisienne. So it's kind of a Parisian chic retro look. But I just wanted to mention that of course it's what you expect coming from a French girl. But in fact, in, in France and in Paris for instance where I live, many girls don't wear this kind of makeup like every day. We Parisian girls like to stay quite natural or to look pretty but without doing too much. So I think that usually the Parisian look would be an effortless yet perfected natural looking look. Glowing skin and pretty eyes but not too much on it and maybe a bright lipstick or a new lipstick. Maybe we French girls don't do as often very sophisticated makeup like many other American girls do or at least that's what I see on YouTube but maybe it's not. I don't know. But if you still want to see this classic retro vintage kind of Parisian makeup look, please keep on watching. I've already washed my face and prepped my skin with a moisturizer so it's nice and hydrated. I'm starting off by using the Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass, which I'm applying all over my face. It also contains SPF 15, which is always nice to get some sun protection, and the product feels really smooth on my face, creating the perfect base for the rest of my makeup. Then, I'm applying the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 4 with a foundation brush, which does exactly what it says on the bottle. Luminous and silky skin, and completely seamless, yet perfecting. All you want from a foundation. The key is to keep blending it out so it doesn't leave any traces or harsh edges on your face. I'm then using the Revlon Colorstay Concealer in O3 Light Medium to brighten up my under eyes and I'm blending it with my Beauty Blender. I'm switching to Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer to cover any scars, blemishes and redness around the nose. Adding a little bit more on that spot. For highlighter, I'm using the Jelly Pong Pong All Over Glow Luminizer Gel, which has been discontinued, but you can use any other highlighter. This one is really transparent and subtle, so you can't go wrong with it. I'm applying it to the high points of the cheeks, on my cupid's bow just above the lips, and a little bit under the brow bone as well. Now I'm grabbing my Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in 84 Dialogue and applying a little bit straight from the bullet to my cheeks. It brings a hint of red in my cheeks which will complement the red lips after and since it's a hydrating and sheer lipstick, I can blend it very easily with my fingertips by using some tapping motion to control the intensity. After that, I'm setting everything with powder using Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Powder in shade 01 Transparent. I'm then moving on to the eye makeup by starting with the application of a base with Urban Decay's Primer Potion since we're going to draw eyeliner on the eyes so we need it to stay put and not budge. I'm applying it all over the lids and also next to the lower lash line. I'm then using my Shu Uemura eyelash curler to curl my straight eyelashes by clipping them several times starting at the roots of the lashes and working my way up to the tips. And I'm coating my lashes with Catrice Glam and Dull Waterproof Mascara. The key here is to use a waterproof mascara if you have straight lashes like me, so that the waterproof formula can hold the curl all day. If you use regular mascara, your lashes will droop down instantly. I'm also applying mascara on my bottom lashes because I'm going to take my eye makeup down a little bit as well. And I swipe off any mascara smudges. Then I'm grabbing Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in rose gold to add a little shine to my eyelids, applying the product directly from the stick and blending it out with my finger. I'm now using my Little Beauty Crayon Epatant, which is a very creamy and blendable eye crayon in a dark brown shade. I'm applying it close to my upper lash line and blending it with my finger and doing the same on my lower lash line but stopping somewhere around the middle so it doesn't close up my eyes too much. I'm finally grabbing Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the deep dark black shade Perversion. And now you'll see how I apply it as someone who is not used to use eyeliner very often and how I correct it. Of course, I'm only doing little strokes 
And I must say, it's not very easy to do it in front of the camera because usually I get way closer to the mirror, which I can't do if I want to let you guys see. So you see how I roughly get the overall shape and then use a cotton bud dipped in some waterproof eye makeup remover to wipe off my mistakes. I'm trying again and failing again. So this time I use a piece of cotton pad to wipe off the flick part. And then I'm reapplying a bit of the caviar stick which I had put as a base before because you want your corrections to blend in perfectly as if you've done it right the first time. And then I'm trying again, wiping off any excess product with a cotton bud and trying to create a smoother line. And same adventure on the other eye. At the end, I was growing a bit tired, so I just grabbed my blush mirror so I could have a closer look and more precision on what I was doing. And once I finally have my eyeliner right, I'm going in again with my concealer on the bare skin patches where I remove the makeup, and I'm also touching up my eyelids with the Laura Mercier caviar stick next to the eyeliner, but trying not to overlay the product on it. And as a final touch for the eyes, of course, I'm going in again with mascara. Then, moving on to the next bold step of that makeup look, the red lips, I'm using NARS Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Red Square, which is an orangey red, but because it is a lip crayon, it is very easy to draw in more precisely the shape of your lips. Then, I'm blotting the lipstick by pressing a tissue to my lips and removing the excess product. I'm going in again with the Rouge Dior Couture lipstick in the shade 80 Red Smile, applying it on top of my first coat, so it is very easy to follow the shape even straight from the bullet without using a lip brush. Then I'm blotting my lips again with a tissue and reapplying another coat of the same lipstick. I'm then pulling out a piece of tissue in half and using one very thin layer to cover my mouth. Then I just load my brush with translucent powder and apply it to my lips on top of the tissue so that it absorbs all the excess product and leaves only the pigment. Sorry for my hand covered in all my eyeliner trials. And at last, going with an extra layer of lipstick for the shine. This technique will allow your lip color to stay vibrant and intense and last way much longer even if you're eating and drinking. I'm finishing off with Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Blissful by setting my cheek color with a little bit of blush powder on top. And the last final touch is setting my eyebrows with the Dior Show Brow Gel, but you can of course use any powder or pencil eyebrow product. And that's the final look, hope you like it! Sorry, I forgot to film the outro, but if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more! Thanks for watching, à bientôt!